Hi, my name is James. I'm a knee, foot and ankle specialist and I've been advising patients on footwear for over 10 years. Today we're going to talk you through the best ASIC shoes for walking. We're going to talk you through primarily three types of shoes, the ASICS GT 2012, the ASICS Gel Cumulus 25 and the ASICS Gel Keanu 30. Please remember all information in this video is for educational purposes only and shouldn't substitute medical advice. With each shoe, we're going to talk you through the different characteristics in terms of cushioning, heel drop, stability, and midsole thickness. And this should help you understand which characteristics might be best for you in terms of pain relief, comfort, and durability. So the first shoe up that we're going to talk about is the Asics Cumulus 25. As you can see, it's got a thick cushioning using the FF Blast cushioning, which ASICs are renowned for. It's got a heel drop of eight mils, so that's the difference in the height from the back to the front of the shoe. This can influence where you strike, where you put pressure through your foot. So typically a lower heel drop means more pressure on the forefoot. So it's important to think about if you've got any conditions or any pain within the ball of the foot or within your toes. It's got a snug fit on the toe box, but a wide bassinet. So it's a normally a true to size fit. In terms of the levels of support, it's what we classically describe as a neutral shoe. So that means at the back of the shoe, it's got a flat base so it doesn't tilt one side to the other. Unlike the GT2000 and the Keanu, which are more of a stable shoe, providing varying levels of stability, this is very much a neutral shoe. So this is an excellent shoe for day-to-day -day walking. If you're quite stable on the foot and you want some responsive cushioning and a neutral sole, this is the type of shoe that we'd recommend for you. And we'll come back to this later as we compare it to the other shoes. So next up is the ASICS GT 2012 and it's got an 8 mil heel drop similar to that of the Gel Cumulus. So it's got a 36 mil midsole at the back and a 28 midsole at the front. It also uses the FF Blast cushioning, but where it differs is it's got a little bit of added support on the inner aspect of the heel. So that gives you a little bit more resistance to pronation moments, so movement inwards. It's also a slightly lighter shoe than the Gel Cumulus and the Gel Keanu. So it's a little bit lighter on the foot, gives you a little bit of extra stability, has that wide flare underneath, but similar to the Cumulus, it's got a true to fit size. So if you're a UK 9 or a US 10, it typically fits according to the size. Size. This is a really nice shoe if you're a little bit unsteady on the foot, if you find that you roll your ankle innocuously, it gives you that little bit of extra stability with the heel bevel and with the support under the inner aspect of the shoe. This is more of a stable shoe compared to the Gel Cumulus. And finally we have ASIC's most stable shoe, which is the ASIC's Gel Keanu 30. As you can see on this compared to the G2 2000, it's got a medial posting, so a little bit less than the previous model in the 29, but this has to provide support to the under arch of the foot. It has a 4D guidance system which is a bit more supportive than the 3D guidance system of the GT2000. So it's got a bit of a tilt under the heel, it's got a bit more arch support so it provides a bit more of a stable feel. It has a bit more of a plush cushioning effect compared to the GT2000 so that means that you may sink a bit more into the shoe so it can feel a bit more like you're walking on a cloud whereas if you're a bit of a faster walker some people prefer a little bit of a firmer sole because it gives you a bit more of a spring force. Board. This helps to absorb vibration and shock a little bit more as you hit the ground. It's got a slightly higher heel drop than the other two shoes, so it's a 10 mil difference from the back to the front of the shoe. So this is influential if you've got conditions such as Achilles tendonitis. It helps to elevate the heel, shorten the distance from the heel attachment onto the Achilles tendon and can provide pain relief for conditions such as this. The extra support under the arch of the foot can help with conditions such as plantar fasciitis, posterior tibial tendonitis, pain, aching or cramping under the arch of the foot if you walk or stand for long periods of time. And what's different to the other two shoes is that it has a slightly wider fit in the toe box than the Cumulus and the Keanu. So that's important when you think about conditions such as Morton's neuroma or anything affecting the ball of the foot that doesn't like cramping or squeezing of the foot. And Another example of that might be a bunion. As it's a little bit more supportive than the GT2000, you pay the price in terms of its weights. So it's slightly heavier, but it does give you that plush cushioning. So in summary, when trying to make a decision of what might be the best shoe for you, if you want a responsive shoe that gives you neutral support, that's true to size fit, then go for the Cumulus. If you want a little bit of added support, a little bit more responsive cushioning, then we'd look at the GT2000. And if you're happy to pay the price of a slightly heavier shoe, then you get an extremely stable shoe on the foot that's got a nice plush cushioning that feels like you're walking on a cloud. If you've got any questions about any of the shoes discussed in the video please leave them in the comment section below. In the description 
we leave links to all the shoes that we discussed in the video and if you found the video helpful please like and subscribe to the channel.